Hi everyone, welcome back for another fun-filled day of science. I'm so excited to be back with you. I hope you had a wonderful winter break and that you're ready to do some learning. Now before winter break, we started a brand new unit. And you're probably thinking, Miss Jacobson, that's a silly time to start a new learning unit. You're not wrong. However, I know you are all brilliant and I know that you are going to take this in stride and you're going to do incredible, incredible things and that you are going to teach me how incredibly brilliant you are and how much you know about liquids and water and I cannot wait to learn what you know about water. So we started learning about states of matter, right? And what that means, now that might sound silly to you, especially if you weren't able to check in on your lessons or you've simply forgotten what we were learning about. And that's okay because you're here now and that's awesome. So we started learning this new unit talking about water and by you telling me what you already knew about water. So if you weren't able to check in or you didn't post a lesson, go ahead and pause and think about that now. Let's all do that. Okay, so what do you know about water? Tell me one thing. Okay, so let's see if it's the same as my thing. I know that water is wet. I also know that water fits the shape of whatever container it is in. Now, it doesn't just sit in there and bounce around. It totally fills out in the shape of any container it's in. It could be a star. It could be a heart, it could be a cylinder, it could be a square, it could be round, it could be anything. Whatever shape the container is, a liquid will fill that shape. And that's what water will do, that's also what liquids will do. Now today, we're going to make the connection that water is a liquid. Now liquids are really really cool because they take the shape of the container that they're in but also because they can turn into other things. Liquids are kind of magic like that and they do this based on their temperature so based on how hot or how cold they are. Now before I show you that Let's go play with some water. Now, I say that, but here are some ground rules. No electronics near the water. Talk to an adult beforehand. And the water cannot be too hot, too cold, or in a place you can't reach in and you need to have an adult by you. Deal? Otherwise, no dice. You can't do it. If you have an adult, the water's not too hot or cold, and you're very, very careful, you can do it. Otherwise, no. Okay. So here's what I'd like you to do with supervision. Remember, with supervision, so with an adult. If you have access to some water, go find it. Could be from a faucet, could be from the sink. So with some water, find it, leave it where it is. So don't go make a puddle. Do not go make a puddle somewhere. Tell me what it looks like. Maybe you're remembering back to a time you were with some water or by some water. So tell me what it looks like, what it feels like. If you're next to water now and you have permission, you can touch it. 
permission from an adult, your adult, an adult in your life. And then tell me what shape it is right now. The water you have access to, the water you are looking at, what does it look like to you? Okay, give me that information in your Seesaw Activity page today, and we will come back to this tomorrow. I adore you all. See you tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone.